My name is Braxton Winston. My pronouns are he, him, and his. Uh, and I would like to thank the people of, Char of Charlotte uh, for selecting me to serve uh, for another two years. Um, yesterday, I was able to spend uh, some time uh, with my, some of my council colleagues. And most times, uh, the public only sees the headlines of the work that we do or when we disagree. Um, Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's for a shout out. So, you know. <laughs> it is true that we all bring a different view on approaches to, uh, to the issues of our city. But everybody out there should know um, that Charlotte has 11 council members, one mayor, and over 8,000 city employees that are dedicated to make this the city that we all do deserve. We will be losing three council members uh, who have passionately served uh, their constituents. I am grateful for all three of your service and excited to see what is next for each one of you. The voters of Charlotte have uh, selected the next, next iteration of council. It will be up to us uh, to operate cohesively, to set the clear position of the city so that our staff can operate efficient, efficiently and that the mayor can succinctly amplify our message for far and wide. We will work together. Uh, we will work cooperatively uh, if, if we do what so many of us have said um, and, and stick together uh, through thick and through thin. Uh, yesterday, I was also able to spend uh, some time with a friend. Um, I met this friend uh, about three and a half years ago uh, during the Charlotte Uprising. Um, out on the streets of Charlotte, we both committed uh, to ourselves and, and to each other that we would dedicate uh, our life and, and, and our efforts uh, to permanently disrupting what some of us may refer to as the Charlotte way. I often refer to it as the status quo. Uh, and we have both followed through on our commitments to disrupt uh, the status quo. Uh, but while we were talking, he, he said something that uh, I stayed up last night. Uh, thinking about. He, he said something to the effect of, why is this work so hard? We work so hard and our neighborhoods just keep getting taken away. While I was uh, 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 stayed up, um, I, 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 th I thought about this. Uh, you know, Charlotte's segregation, uh, our inequities, uh, our lack of mobilities. Uh, we didn't simply get here uh, because of hatred or fear of one another. We got here because of intentional policy decisions that our past city councils uh, have made based on visions of what they saw the city should be. Uh, tonight, all of us sit in this chamber and we sit on land that was once indigenous land. Uh, but we also sit on land that was once a city within a city, uh, the center of black Charlotte, the neighborhood of Brooklyn. In 1958, the Charlotte City Council voted to erase an entire black community from uptown Charlotte for the stated purpose of creating a better environment for its residents. Families were told they could return to Brooklyn once the city used federal urban renewal money to build affordable housing here. No residences were ever built, and the promises were never realized. In Brooklyn, over a 10-year period, 9,000 residents were displaced. Nearly 1,500 homes were demolished, and 216 black businesses were forced to close, many never reopening. Some people who owned homes and businesses still contend that they were not adequately compensated for their property. 11 black churches were bulldozed and their congregations scattered. So I contend that as we deal with issues of congestion, uh, crime rates, uh, 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 lack of upward economic mobility, we will only truly be successful if this council over the next two years approaches our work on policy through restorative lens one that intends and identifies 
the ability to repair past policies. We know how we got here. Knowing um, is, is part of the battle. Now we must do the hard work uh, uh, to repair what we have broken. But as I met somebody today, just uh, as I was, I was getting ready, uh, they, they told me to keep my head up because if it ain't hard, it, it ain't worth it. I do want to take um, uh, a moment uh, as a po personal point of privilege to talk about the day, a, a different part of the day that I had yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I was able uh, to reflect on the journey, not just in the past two years, um, but really the past three and a half years uh, that I have been on along with my family much of which uh, has been shared with the greater Charlotte community. I want to thank my entire family, those binded by blood, and those who have been selected by choice and fate along the way. I love you all. I could not and would not be here without you. The ride has been wild, and I think it's only getting started. Thank you all. Thank you.